Since we're working with a site with a little bit of content and a couple of pages, it's probably time to set up a search because searches are pretty good things to have on a website for people to use. All right, like most of these videos, we're gonna start with a little bit of static HTML, then we're gonna hook it up systematically. So let's dive into the code. We'll start by adding a search input field into the nav. So we'll jump into that nav partial. We'll add a little bit of static HTML. We will refresh and there we go. So this doesn't do anything, but let's make it do something. There's two things we're gonna to need to do to make this functional. Uh, the first is create a form tag and we're gonna set the action to be wherever we want this search result page to be. Let's keep it simple. Let's not overthink it. Let's call it search. Wrap that around the search input. And then we gotta give this a name. Now the, it is configurable, but if you set it to Q, it will work without having to do anything else. So let's just do that. Q would be short for query. Now that alone isn't gonna do anything. That's just gonna plop us on a page, but let's get plopped, refresh, search for title, and we're gonna get a 404 because we have not told this page or told Statomic that this page exists. Now we're gonna do this in a new way. We haven't done this before, but we're gonna write a route. We're gonna skip the whole pages uh, collection and just tell Statomic the application to render a template on a given URL. So we're gonna open the web.php routes file. Let me show you where that exists. This is a Laravel convention. It's just the routes folder, web.php. And then right down here, we're gonna uncomment out this example, route colon colon statomic. This is just a little, uh, a PHP closure. And we're gonna, uh, the argument number one is the URL. So it's gonna be search. Argument two is the name of the view or template. In this case, we'll call it search. And then you can pass in some data if you'd like to set that. And we're just gonna call it search results. You can put whatever you want here, like template or you know content, or you could just rip it out and remove this third argument like that. But I like it, let's just leave the title in there. All right, next, we're gonna create that template and we'll go to views, search.antlers.html. We'll grab some markup from the default template, plop it in here. Sorry if I'm going quickly, you should be able to see this. Pause it if you need to. And right here is where we're gonna put our search results. Search results go here. Let's refresh and just make sure this is loading, which it is, so that's great. We have the search query being sent along here. We have the page being loaded. We just need to tell Statomic to actually do, you know, the searching part. And that's done with a tag. So let's drop that search results tag right here. Open and closed. And um, let's scope this as results. And then do if results, we're gonna show the results we'll use, let's just make a like a simple bulleted list for now and loop through those results, li and put a URL, put a title, a tootle and we'll close results, fix the indentation and let's see what happens. Boom. All right, let's make these, uh, let's just add a little bit of tailwind text red and then up here we'll add spread these out a little bit all right we have oh, the hover didn't work because you got to put a number there we go all right so these are all results that have title in it boom ba -ba 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 boom title 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 i picked that word title because i purposely put it in the title of all the titles Anyway, let's take a look at one of these entries and search for something inside it. So catching the elusive placeholder title, uh, they're all basically just lorem ipsum. So if we search for lorem, let's see what would happen. Nothing. Now that's because of the search index. You need to customize what fields you want to be searchable. So let's do that. If we go to config, statomic, and search, boom, you can customize what fields are searchable. Now, 
Statomic starts with one default index for everything. It'll have all of your collections, your taxonomies, basically everything in one index. If you'd like, you can create individual indexes, like one for your blog, maybe one for your press releases. Um, you could exclude things, like maybe you don't want your taxonomies or your pages tree to be searchable. So you can set up those um, individual indexes. But for now, the default is totally fine. You can read the docs and kind of take what you learned in this lesson and just expand it just a little bit. It should be pretty straightforward. In order to search that field, we're gonna to need to add one additional field here, blog content. And we've made a change to the search index, which means we need to trigger a re-index. There's two ways to do that. The first would be in the control panel. So if we go there and head to the utilities section, over here in utilities, there's a search, hit default, Boom, hit update, and you're done. If we search for lorem again, we should see all of the entries because they all use lorem ipsum. The other way to do it is via the command line. You can run peach, not ogo, you can run php, please search update. And you can choose which indexes, we're just gonna do all. In this case, we only have one, so it doesn't really matter. That would also work. Both of those completely equivalent, it's up to you. Now you only need to do that when you change the configuration and, um, and haven't had anything that would like rebuild the cache. So just keep that in mind. If, uh, if you're trying to search for new fields or you're trying to loop through stuff that uh, is not in there, just try um, tweaking your index and refreshing that index and you should be good. That's basically it. We could customize the output of this because we have access to all of the data, but this kind of solves all of the basics that you need for a search result. Now let's take it one little step further. This is kind of a UX thing, not necessarily like a requirement, but I like passing in what your search query is into that search field uh, when you're on that result page. So let's go back to that nav and let's add a value parameter here and we'll put get Q, which is going to plop in. If there a, is a Q query string parameter, it will pull that value in here. So if we refresh, boom, now lorem is right there. And you can even go a little bit further and set it to autofocus. This is just HTML, nothing crazy, but that would give you that uh, by default. You could also do basically the same thing on your search results page and put that in, in your uh, title. You could say um, results, for get Q, and you probably want a smaller font size. I think you get the idea. That is a nice little nice little touch you could add. So there you go. That is a basic kind of bare bones static search.